So when you're talking about a partnership, uh, those can be very difficult. Um, I, I think within the government, I found that there's not necessarily an appreciation for how difficult those are. Uh, people think, oh yeah, I can do a partnership, that's easy. And when they say that, usually what they mean is, I'm gonna execute my program just the way I've always wanted to execute it, but I'll just have this other partner who will either bring some money to the table or make it cheaper for me, um, or just somehow you know, make it better without really changing fundamentally how I'm executing. That is not the right way to enter into a partnership. You have to fundamentally change the way you think your role is and what you think your partner's role is. The most important thing, in my opinion, and from my experience on COTS and crew later on, is to have an alignment of goals. You really have to spend the upfront time ensuring that what your partner wants out of this is the same thing that you want out of this. Maybe not necessarily the same priorities. Maybe they have a part that's most important to them and you have another aspect that's m most important to you, but your priorities have to overline. When you do the Venn diagram, there needs to be a lot of overlap in your interests and their interests. And then it makes difficulties that you encounter later easier because you're not necessarily at, um, at odds about what you're trying to accomplish. You, what we found was when you have those alignments of goals, issues that crop up along the way generally get worked out a little bit easier and in a less contentious manner than they otherwise would. So successful partnerships, you really have to spend the upfront up time thinking about is this the right program to have a partnership? Does it have the right ingredients? And do I have potentially the right partners that can come to the table, complement what I'm doing so that we can the, achieve the old, the old adage of one plus one equaling three instead of one plus one equaling one and a half, which is what a lot of partnerships um, accomplish in the end. Even private sector to private sector partnerships, which are slightly easier than public-private partnerships, those in general, there's been many studies that, uh, that say less than half of those succeed on what their original goals were, objectives were. That's not a really good track record. And I think it's even more difficult when you do public-private partnerships because of the differences in those organizations, the people, their cultures, um, their incentives and their priorities. They're just more different uh, when you do a public and a private partnership together. So you have to spend even more time, I think, making sure upfront that you've got that alignment. And then you'll find out that doesn't mean all your issues are gonna get resolved, but the, uh, the difficulty in getting them resolved, I think will be much less. So that's something super important. And the other is flexibility. Uh, you have to have program managers or managers on both sides of the fence that are willing to negotiate um, and be flexible on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, that's a really important factor going forward. And then you have to perform. You have to have, your, on the government side, particularly with the funding, which is something that we cannot always assure because we get year-to-year -year funding and it's subject to uh, appropriations and politics and all sorts of other things, um, you have to work very hard to do those things that you said you were going to bring to the partnership. And then your, your, the companies, the private sector companies, you have to make sure that they, are, uh, they have the ability, both technically and financially, to perform. And I think through that combination that we had all of those ingredients in COTS, luckily, uh, we picked good partners. Um, Rocket Paint Kistner was one that eventually did not succeed, uh, but we were able to plow that money back in and we learned a good lesson from that. And I think it helped us make the next round of, of awards, uh, it turned out to be only one, um, even stronger. So, so we turned out we had, we had an alignment of goals, we had good management on both sides, uh, we had a good partners in Orbital and with SpaceX that were both financially and technically capable of doing this. And then ultimately, we did our part on the NASA side by not getting in their way too much, uh, coming up with the funding. So it was very important uh, when Mike Griffin was administrator to sort of fence off that money um, and make sure that we had that available. And then we came up with the augmentation in 2010 for 300 million and that helped as well. So. So I think we both performed, and that was important. We both had an alignment of goals. Uh, we were both good at what we were good at, and we brought those to the table without overwhelming the other side. So that was, you gotta have respect for your partner, 
and your partner has to have respect for you or it's not going to work. And I think we had all of those ingredients in COTS and they all were important in the ultimate success.